Anurag Thakur and his deputy Ajay Shirk got early warnings in July. India's Supreme Court ordered them to reform the Board of Control for cricket, which they led. What the two men might have failed to see at the time was the implied consequences should they fail to comply. The Supreme Court has now fired them both, a decision that's seen as unprecedented. The Board of Control for Cricket in India, or BCCI, is one of the most influential organizations in the country and the global game. It's also a reflection of uh, how confident the BCCI were of their power to think that they would not be able, that they could actually challenge the Supreme Court. And this was the, uh, the Chief Justice, who's the highest appointed judge in the land, uh, whom they were, whose, whose orders that they were challenging, and it has now come to this. The BCCI's profits for last year amounted to more than $16 million. Its crown jewel is the Indian Premier League, or IPL, the annual competition that's now valued at $4.5 billion. And the IPL is at the root of the cricket body's troubles. A spot-fixing and betting scandal in 2013 led to sharp criticism of the then-boss Srinivasan, who also owned one of the teams at the centre of the scandal. He was removed from office by the Supreme Court in 2014. The court appointed a committee led by a former chief justice to recommend changes in how the board is run. It called for a sweeping overhaul of Indian cricket from the top down. The Supreme Court now says the BCCI is refusing to implement changes around its power structure and has ruled that all officials who don't fall in line with the committee recommendations should leave. Uh, there were obstructions, there were impediments. Uh, we fixed the timelines that was not adhered to. We submitted three reports before the Supreme Court. Uh, even then it was not implemented. Obviously this was to happen and this has happened. I respect Supreme Court as any citizen should. Supreme Court judges feel that BCCA could do better under retired judges. I wish them all the best. I'm sure Indian cricket will do well under their guidance. My commitment to the best of Indian cricket and autonomy of sports will always remain. The decision may sadden the two men, but it may also bring joy to a wider public in a country where cricket is the most popular game. Aside from its law for cricket, India is a country that boasts tremendous rituals, but suffers huge corruption. Perhaps a reason why the efforts to save cricket can only be matched by the joy to see the power of the law in full action. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, 